The Milikin Hill is a famous tourist attraction in the beautiful city of Enugu. The hill, which is about 100 meters above sea level, offers a beautiful standpoint for a panoramic view of Enugu metropolis. At the foot of the hill is the first road that leads into the city of Enugu. Beneath the hills are tunnels, coal mines, as well as the Eva Valley. The Milikin Hill can be found within Ungo Aziz of Enugu, not local government area. The Milikin Hill is the most popular and one of the most visited hill in Enugu. After the discovering of coal within the Milikin Hill, the 4.8 km long Milikin Hill Road was constructed in 1909 and named after the head of engineer who designed the road. The road has about 33 sharp bends, winds through the foot of the hill, banded by a deep gully. Underneath the hills are relics of coal mines and its beautiful tunnels. In 2018, the Milikin Hill Road was reconstructed and modernized with street lights and other safety measures for the first time after its first construction in 1909. Before an alternative road leading to Enugu from Ungo Aziz of the state was constructed, motorists coming in and out of the city of Enugu had no other choice than to apply the Milikin Hill Road which has recorded the second highest accident rate in the state after the Onyama Hill due to its winding nature. A tour on the road introduces a first-time user to the beautiful green nature of Enugu, an experience described by many as a natural roller coaster. The road further leads to the new market, which is the second largest market in Enugu. The road also leads to the famous Ungo Pine Forest a forest that harbors rows of pine trees to form a natural canopy, ideal for a picnic. To show you the up-close view of the beautiful Milikin Hill Road, hopping in the car, let's go for a ride. I was born <laughs> so I don't need to start telling you about the history but this has been an access route by which people connect to Anambra State back in the days before we have the Federal Express and back in the days it used to be very very narrow even though it's still very narrow but back then they didn't have these barricades now that they painted yellow and black back then it was very us that people and cars were even falling over to the other side you know there were lots of accidents back then because um, the road is very tiny and it's very narrow and it's very curvy so if you're not careful most times drivers slide off the road and fall into the earth uh, deep beneath the mountain so but now um, they've tried as much as they can to barricade the road in as much as people are using these routes consistently to ensure safety. So, um, I would like to ask you, bro, how do you feel driving around uh, through these routes, this making here? Um, the thing is this, I think you have to be very, very careful driving here because of the narrow road. So you have to pay attentive to where you're driving to. The road is very, very narrow. I think uh, it feels, so we talk about feelings, it feels uh, it feels like I'm outside uh, Nigeria, something like that. Yes. You know, like uh, all these, uh, what is it called, all these uh, remote, remote places in somewhere in Spain, in Spain, 
or UK, something like that. So especially what uh, beautifies this road is the uh, the mountain and the, uh, the the tall trees, the green tall trees uh, surrounding it. So it makes it look very cool, so different from other roads I've seen so far in Nigeria. Yeah. Um, but the, the disadvantage of it is it's very narrow. The road is very narrow, so it has to be very very careful while you drive. drive. Okay, one thing also very significant about this road is um, the, the road is situated on a high mountain. Like from the side, you can see the other parts of the state, or the city. You can see from the side, from the left hand side, you know. So it's on the hilly parts of the city. You know, Enugu is mostly a hilly county where uh, buildings and people are living up in the mountains and down below the mountain so but this road is on top of the mountain that's why you have to be very careful if you're applying this road they have they have so many entrances into Enugu coming from Udi Axis, Fort Connor Axis, the main express that cuts through night mine and then of course this route so it's 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 such a beaut to behold back in the days when the white people were still here they lived mostly around the side, the coal camp, you know, the coal city park terrain. I remember four years ago, I was trying to shoot a musical video. Uh, I lost a drone here. One of our drones crashed into the trees. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. The video had to automatically pause. We couldn't, fin <laughs> <laughs> couldn't finish the video again because I had to start battling with the, 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 the drone operator and the owner of the drone. So, Wait, it's not the owner of the drone that is piloting the drone. Yeah, yeah, actually, I don't know what actually happened that moment, but he gave out his drone to this guy that was so eager to show himself. And you know, exuberance and all that. Mm -hmm. The guy wanted to show me that he, he's got skills too. Forgetting that, he, you know, you have to look up where you're flying the drone to. And also, yeah, there are a lot of trees here. So a lot of trees, yeah. While flying. So, the, I think, I think uh, you know, back, back then they used to have this drone that is very big. That had uh, a lot of. Uh, That's Phantom Four. Yeah, I think it's Phantom. Yeah, yeah it's Phantom. Phantom. Yeah, right. White color, right? Yeah, white color and had a lot of blades. So I think, um, the, 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 I think one side of the blades cut the trees and he hanged. So they couldn't drive through. Before I knew what was happening, he lost control from the tree and, and crashed on the ground. Oh, he crashed. He crashed. He crashed. He scattered the battery like. Unrepairable. The, of course, you have to get a new battery for the drone. And back then, it was it was. What am I saying? It's more than four years now. It's up to five years now. That that musical video came to a crash, and I couldn't even finish the video again because I had to start, you know, trying to find a way that we're gonna settle with the drone owners and you know, trying to repair the ones that could be repaired. But it wasn't a very smooth experience. Though. So, anyways, this is the end of go. Camp Milk in Hill Routes, and now we just entered inside in the town. So guys, that's the end of this video today and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you do and if you want to support the channel, you already know what to do. Hit the like button below. Don't forget to share with your family and friends and subscribe. I will see you when nice I talk to you. God. Eh?